Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. Showers and thunderstorms tonight into the morning hours here tomorrow. Look for more dry weather in the afternoon and then dry day shaping up on Thursday. But more rain and thunderstorms back in the picture here Thursday night into the day on Friday. Risk of severe weather here for tonight is off to our south and west. No severe weather around here, but any stronger storms could produce some gusty winds, maybe some small hail and some locally heavy rain. Humidity level really has been pretty low. Dew points down into the 50s last uh, day or so and staying into the 50s here through the upcoming weekend. But as we get into next week, it is one going to warm up middle and upper 80s, and then these numbers are also going to go up. So it's going to also going to be warmer and more humid. As for the wind, it's been light all day. We'll remain that way overnight, even into the morning hours. But as we get into the afternoon, a little uptick on the wind there at about 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the northerly direction. Here's a look at the showers and a few thunderstorms as we head through the evening and overnight hours. Again, some gusty wind up around 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. Small hail, some locally heavy rain, all a possibility, especially during the morning hours. But by the afternoon, I think by lunchtime, a lot of this will be to our east, and the rest of the afternoon we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, eh, maybe an isolated shower, but for the most part it is going to be uh, pretty dry, and then as the sun goes down, any precipitation or clouds will disappear. And then a mostly clear sky for tomorrow night. But not tonight. Showers and a few thunderstorms. Temperatures will drop down to about 60 degrees for an overnight low. During the day tomorrow, showers and storms in the first half of the day, dry, pretty much dry for the afternoon. Temperatures upper 60s to the lower 70s. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City showing the dry weather on Thursday. But again, Thursday night into Friday morning will be another round of showers and storms. And the rest of your 10 day forecast does include dry weather here on Saturday. Some more storm chances Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And that's when it starts to heat up around here. Highs uh, getting into the middle and upper 80s. And overnight lows a bit muggy down into the 60s.